Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I've been trying to do other stuff with games on my PC and uh, my PS3 with the Elgato. I'm still having troubles. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm just going to have to start with a new computer. I'd like to build a new computer before the middle of next year. <clears throat> I should be able to do that pretty easily now. Um, I found a website that'll help you find cheap, uh, well, not necessarily cheap, but what the kind of components you need for a computer at various prices. Of course, I am going to try to steer towards the less expensive side. So there's that and that's probably gonna hopefully it's going to uh, boost my doing stuff ability I tried do it, doing a video with Skyrim can't do that with the uh, hypercam because it's full screen and for some reason it doesn't like full screen games other games are crashing uh, so I might have to just stick with goofy games, little low-end games, like stuff on internet. I don't know. We'll figure it out from there. <clears throat> so today, instead of a game, I'm going to show you guys how to make a mold and cast wax D20s. I'm going to use these in making aluminum cast or cast aluminum whatever you however you say it die 20 d20 dice uh, what I'll need what I discovered that I'll need is a, of course a d20 dice just a simple one that you won't mind getting glue on or super glue some super glue And a piece of, well, something you can put something against, like a scrap of wood, plastic. Uh, I have here a piece of plexiglass that I've been using. Uh, you'll need that. And caulk. Not Caulk, but caulk. Caulk. Uh, I've used 100% silicone. Premium waterproof. Brand doesn't matter. Stuff doesn't matter. Um, just try to get something that will easily flex. Like that stuff does, because it's rubber, pretty much. So what you're going to do is you're going to first... Um, I don't really want to make another mold because I already have two, so I'm just going to tell you what to do. You're going to put here a dab of glue on one of here on one side. I chose the one side because that's easy to uh, etch onto a finished product. I'm sure. So you'll take usually it's opposite the 20 side. Glue it onto this guy piece of plastic or what have you and then you'll take like a, a toothpick or a, a brush or something and you'll get a little bit of caulk all around uh, you'll after you glue it it'll be secure you'll want to get it into each little crevice underneath that you can so that you can get a close enough to a uh, you know the the side that you're missing on there then it's gonna dry for about uh, 24 hours or so at least overnight and make sure that it's a thin layer because if it isn't it's gonna take a lot longer to dry the thinner the better and it's really not too difficult to do now I'm gonna set this camera down and I'm gonna show you oh also I forgot to mention 
getting this stuff. Canola oil or some sort of releasing, releasing agent. Something that it won't stick to. Uh, it'll make it a pain in the ass to uh, paint the stuff on, but once you get it on, um, it's it's just kind of like frosting a cake, and got to get it all the way around every 365 degrees of it. And then once you get it off, you're gonna get this little pretty little thing. And then I would recommend making another dab, putting another dab of the caulk, 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 not cock, caulk. There's an L in there. Uh, putting a dab of the caulk on here and then setting it on so that it sits upright. Unless you can make a flat surface the first time when you're making it. Um, after that, uh, it should be dry, mostly. This wasn't quite dry when I took it off of the base, and but it, the rest of it dried as is, so it's, it's fine now. Uh, then how I have, what the devices I have, you can melt the wax any number of ways. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing to stand. Motherfucker. God damn. But with the tools that I have, I have a pencil butane torch. And I have just a thing of wax that I, I melted into a, a party cup, pretty much. Then what you'll do is refuel, or fuel it up, squoosh, and then you're gonna melt a little bit, try to get, um, What I do is I will have it vertically over the mold. Don't melt it beforehand or else it's going to get all over. Melt it as you're pouring it over. Light that bitch up. Pour it right into there. It makes a tiny little stream. And don't fill it. Well, fill it all the way just till overflowing. Just so that there's that on top, that much on top, because it's going to shrink. Oh, crap. Everything dead. Everything died. Okay. And then jiggle it. What the hell happened? To my computer. I don't know. Um, jiggle it so that all the air bubbles inside escape. See there's little air bubbles coming up from the inside there. Now you let that cool for a little bit and then then you got this little guy here. This is one I filled previously. Uh, you're going to take off the uh, the XX wax with uh, your hand is easy enough and then you're going to just peel it right off now don't worry if the mold starts to crack it's gonna do that because you're putting a lot of stress on it or you you can even uh, cut into it a little bit slice slice it in half for easy removal. Then you're just gonna berth it right out and squeeze. There we go. 
nearly perfect D20. Now you can fill that in if you like. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in clay and let it dry, melt out the wax so that it leaves a negative. This is a positive recreation of the of the uh, D20. I'm going to melt it, melt out the wax from the clay, the dry clay, or I'll heat it up, and then I'll pour. I'll just be able to pour the. Probably I'll probably just be able to pour the uh, molten aluminum right in the clay, and then I'll just break the clay, and boom, I'll have a cast an aluminum cast D20, and then I'll be able to sand off each edge and then etch the one on top where that little crevice is right now. And that's how you make a uh, wax or whatever resin you could use resin uh, die 20, D20 dice. As you can see I've made quite a few. Uh, I'm planning on making quite a few of the uh, aluminum versions, so I figured I might as well make some stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what... I, I kind of want to make other cast... <clears throat> excuse me. Other cast items or molds out of this stuff. But I don't know what to do. So I need ideas. Not my penis. I've already asked a few people, and they've all told me the same thing. Like I said, this stuff takes 24 hours or so around there to dry. I would have... If I can maintain something that long, there's something medically wrong with me. So... And besides, it's probably not good for your skin, this uh, straight silicon. So give me some ideas as to what I should make duplicates of. Ah, that's about it for me right now. I'll talk to you guys later.